वेलकम एवरी वन माई सेल्फ डी एस मुंडे वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ प्रोसेसिंग एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग के के वा कॉलेज ऑफ एग्रीकल्चरल इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी नासिक इन दिस वीडियो लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी टाइप्स ऑफ पॉइस्चराइजेशन सो दिस इज वन ऑफ द टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम द कोर्स डेरी एंड फूड इंजीनियरिंग इंजीनियरिंग हैविंग कोर्स नंबर पी एफ थ्री फाइव फाइव फ्रॉम फिफ्थ सेमिस्टर of third year btech agricultural engineering degree program so in this particular video lecture we will st study different types of um, uh, pasteurization in the previous video lectures we have already discussed uh, in detail about the pasteurization so we, there are various types of uh, pasteurization process that is batch or low temperature long time in short it is also called as ltlt or wet pasteurization the next type of pasteurization is high temperature short time pasteurization then in the bottle pasteurization vac creation and ultra high temperature that is uht pasteurization so all these uh, types of pasteurization we are going to cover in subsequent video lectures so so before going to study the types of pasteurization first we will discuss the definition of pasteurization so according to the fssai that is food safety and standards authority of india the term pasteurization pasteurized and similar terms shall be taken to refer to the process of heating every particle of milk of different class to at least 63 63 degree celsius and holding at such temperatures continuously for at least 30 minutes or heating it to at least 71.5 degree celsius and holding at such temperatures continuously for at least 15 seconds or an approved temperature time combination that will serve to give a negative phosphatase test all pasteurized milk of different classes shall be cooled immediately to a temperature of 10 degrees celsius or less so purpose of pasteurization the first object of pasteurization is public health aspect so in this to make milk and milk products safe for human consumption by destroying all bacteria that may be harmful to health that is pathogenic bacteria the second main objective of pasteurization is to improve the keeping quality of milk and milk products pasteurization can destroy some undesirable enzymes and many spoilage bacteria shelf life can be 7 10 14 or up to 16 days the extent of microorganism inactivation depends on the combination of temperature and holding time minimum temperature and time requirements for milk pasteurization are based on thermal date time studies for the most heat resistant pathogen found in milk that is hexella perniti so the first type that is batch or wet pasteurization the milk or milk products is heated and cooled in one two or sometimes more than that tanks the process involves heating every particle of milk at least to the temperature of 63 degrees celsius for 30 minutes and cooled rapidly to below 10 degrees celsius the parts of a typical batch pasteurizer are following insulated outer casing insulated hinged cover stainless steel inner vessel agitator and its motor outlet cork and heating water distribution pipe so this particular slide shows the uh, diagram of batch pasteurizer having different pa parts that we discussed in the previous slide so this 
system of pasteurization is well suited for small scale operation where less than 3000 to 5000 liters of milk are available the vat may be rectangular but a vertical cylindrical design is preferred for practical reasons the vat normally consists of an inner vessel surrounded by an insulated outer core casting thus forming a jacket through which hot water or steam is passed as shown in the figure after the milk has reached the required temperature of 63 degrees Celsius, it is usually held at that temperature for a certain fixed period of 30 minutes. Thereafter, it is cooled as quickly as possible either by circulating refrigerant or chilled water or through plate or surface chiller. Cooling the milk after pasteurization by circulating a refrigerant in most cases, cold water through the jacket or the vat may take much time. Therefore, a separate small capacity surface tubular or plate cooler may be used to rapidly cool the milk to the required temperature. This system also has the advantage that the vat will be available sooner for the pasteurization of another batch of milk. So batch pasteurizers have a small heating surface area relative to their contents. Heat transfer is greatly improved by agitating the milk. Agitators of different design are used for this purpose. They may even consist of double walled paddles or other devices with internal steam or water circulation. Care must be taken to avoid foam formation during filling of vat. It is very difficult to heat the milk and foam together uniformly and consequently microorganisms present in the foam may survive pasteurization. If the inlet wall is at the bottom of the vat, foam formation can easily be prevented. A lid or cover on top of the vat promotes a uniform temperature of the contents and prevent skin formation on the milk so, thank you in this way we have covered in detail the wet pasteurization or it is also called as batch pasteurization or low temperature long time process this pasteurization is generally carried out at a temperature below 100 degrees celsius and the Type, uh, the nature of the food is slightly acidic. Thank you.